Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel and to another freaking video that's not a short. Who would have thought? It is Saturday morning at like 10 a.m. I have just been chilling in bed. I actually go to Portland in a few days, so I've kind of been like planning the itinerary for Court and I. I just made breakfast. It's a hash brown with a scrambled egg on top of it. So I'm going to eat this and then we have to get ready. I clearly have some things we need to cover up. I'm getting my nails done today. I have a baby shower. I think I'm going to go out to dinner with like Court, Chaney, Cass. Cass has a friend in town. I think that's tentative, but I think that's the plan. Tomorrow I'm getting a tattoo. I have some really exciting updates I want to tell you guys about my life. So I think it'll be a really fun vlog. And the next week we will have a Portland vlog, which I'm so excited for I've been watching them all morning but I just want to say good morning I'm gonna eat I'm gonna get ready and then I will see you guys before I head out to my nails I think my nails are gonna be really sick I'm really excited about them so it'll be a fun vlog you guys I'm getting ready to make my bed and I see these feet on the floor I'm like are you good in there like it's so funny. And she's like, what is my sister doing down there? Like, trying to pounce. <laughs> Let's sit down and catch up a little bit because I got ready 25 minutes early, which is crazy. I thought I was going to be running behind, which I'm sure because I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to end up running behind. But I'm ready, so I'm going to get my nails done. This is what they look like right now. I've learned... I get my nails done every like two to three weeks, ideally three just because of the cost. But I've learned between week two and three is when my nails go from like, like this one's broken, but like not really. But they go from being cute and fun and like a little messy to like ratchet in week three. So I'm kind of excited and I'm really excited to show you what I'm going to do. It's simple, but I'm really looking forward to it. And then I'm going, like I said, to a baby shower, which is really fun because I went to the wedding last year and it's just somebody I've known since I was born. So it'll be fun to do that and yeah so a couple like random not that cool updates I got a new chair right here it, it used to be this brown leather chair that my cats used as a scratching post and it was destroyed like my leather chair was like the color of this boot and it looked white in the back because they had just completely destroyed it and so I got this one I don't know if you can tell it's like a Sherpa material and for whatever reason they don't scratch it so Probably because it's not leather and it doesn't like feel as good. I also have, you can't even see it, I have like a, I can't reach it, a scratching post, a cactus one, like right next to the chair. And they just, now they care about it, but when the leather chair was there, they didn't. So, that's an exciting update. Another thing, my hair is blonder. And this has been a process for so long. I probably won't ever be as blonde as I was a long, long time ago. It's always trippy to me that some people like don't know blonde Brit when she was... I was blonde for like 25 years and then I got my little heart broken and I decided, you know what? I want it dark and I also am going to cut it and never let a man's make you so sad. You need to dye your hair. Not a good idea. And then COVID came and so obviously we couldn't go get it done. So I was just like box dyeing it and it got so dark and I didn't hate it. But I look back at pictures and I'm like, never again. And so I am loving it and it's finally like, I think it's at the length it was when I cut it. So... Things are good there. And then lastly, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I have started a little bit of a weight loss journey. I feel like if you know me in real life or you know me from my YouTube videos, oh my gosh, this hair. I've struggled with my weight for forever. I feel like in vlogs, I'm always like, I'm trying to eat healthier and things like that, which I do try, was trying, but if you guys don't know, I started semaglutide, which I know some people get really angry about. Um, if you don't know what semaglutide is, it's an insulin. It is a generic version of it, like Wagovi or Ozempic. Um, so it's a lot more affordable. And also, I heard, don't quote me, like if you're stumbling across this video, I don't believe that semaglutide is something that diabetics uses frequently. I could be wrong, but I've heard that from multiple people um, because it's like compounded local. I don't know. I don't know the reason behind it. I'm not a doctor. I was just told that. So I know that there's like controversy behind like shortages of Ozempic and Wagovi. And so semaglutide, I believe, is also not taking from people who may need it more from what, from my understanding. If I'm wrong, don't scream at me. That's just what I've been told. I started it like the, one of the last days of January, so basically February. So I think I'm at two and a half months, which is really exciting. I'm down almost 17 pounds, which is also very, very exciting. Um, it's changed my life. I am so happy and proud of myself. I struggle a lot with eating and binge, so 
trigger warning. I'm not really going to talk about it more than that. But this medication has like just stopped all of that. I literally have not done a single thing. Like I've never had a relationship this healthy with food. I haven't ever gone this long in like my adult life. Not emotionally eating, binge eating, things like that. So this medication, it's like known to like quiet food noises. If you have those, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's just been like amazing. I stop eating when I'm full. So like I have leftovers all the time where before I would like feel like I needed to eat it even if I like didn't necessarily want it. It's so much easier to make better choices and it just like feels so good. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, I document it a ton over on TikTok if that's something you're interested in. I could also, I feel like when I'm a little bit further along, do like a whole sit down video. I probably will just because it's a big part of my life right now. Um, I'm kind of boring outside of that. I feel like when you're focusing on yourself and like not drinking and like, it's just, you get a little boring, but it's a good boring because you're focusing on yourself. So those are my three little updates. Um, let's see what time it is. 11.15. So I'm going to put my shoes on, start heading down to the car. My appointment's not until 12 but I'm gonna leave at 11.30. That should get me there a couple minutes early and sometimes she's done with her, her person before so that I can get in early and get out early and then go to the baby shower. So that's my little life update. Um, let's go get our nails done. So obviously we're on the iPhone. I just got done with my nails. So here's the first hand, which is super, super cute. And then the other hand is just like the opposite. I love them and you can tell that Arizona is getting hot because my makeup is already melting off my face this is like my biggest issue with my makeup so if you have any tips let me know so the baby shower starts in like an hour the only issue is is it's like five minutes from where i'm at and so i have no idea how i'm going to kill time but i'm going to uh, figure out something but i'm trying not to spend money on things i don't need to spend money on so i'm like i could go to the mall i could go to target but those are both not gonna end well so i don't know what i'm gonna do but i will see you guys i'll probably just get couple clips at the baby shower and then see y'all after good morning y'all so last like real clip you saw of me that wasn't a montage was in my car after my nails yesterday you guys saw i went to that baby shower and then my phone was at like seven percent from about 6 p.m until i got home at 10 30 last night so oops but it is now the morning i am not really can you tell I have an empty box I need to take down? I am not getting ready really today. I'm wearing just like a dress. My hair is from yesterday. And I am going to breakfast with my mom and some of our neighbors. We always go get the soup. It's like, it's like a very, very important tradition because it's so good. And I think about it every week. So very important we do that. And then I'm going to get my tattoo and... I think that's gonna sum up the day. I know Courtney's doing like an Easter egg hunt thing. Last week was Easter with her sister and some friends. So depending on when I get my tattoo finished, I might do that, but we're just, we're gonna see. I have to get groceries. I have to go pick up some packages from my mom's house so I can show you guys. So that is my Sunday. I just wanted to say good morning because as per usual, I flopped at documenting the rest of my day yesterday. We are back in the OG filming spot, my parents' kitchen. They are still at brunch, but it's like one o'clock. So brunch, we got there at 9.30. And I feel like this has been my trend this week, staying at places way longer than necessary. So I had to pick up my packages, like I said, and I'm really excited. I got, I'm like feeling for it. I see it, I see it. I ordered. Rare Beauty, one of their new, what is it? Their tinted lip oil. I heard that this is amazing and I'm so excited to try it. So I'm gonna put this on right now because I'm curious and then we're gonna go get gas and head out to my tattoo appointment. I'm like so excited to get my tattoo but I'm like dreading the appointment. I think it's cause I'm just like get nervous meeting new people. I don't know, I don't know. But let's, let's put this on. Am I kneeling on my parents' kitchen floor? and putting you guys on the countertop right now? Absolutely, but I've never tried anything Rare Beauty and I got the color Joy. I knew nothing about the colors. They were just sold out of a lot of them. And this one looked pretty and summery. And oh, it feels like it's way more pigmented than I thought it would be. Um, I like the color. Okay, okay. I'm like trying to put this on without a mirror. I'm using you guys and I have a reflection. Okay, so it feels 
really good definitely super buttery way more pigmented than i expected i don't know what i expected but it was not like this much pigmentation and that's not a bad thing i'm pretty excited about it and then i heard that this matches all of my zits today so fun heard that this like stains so it's gonna stay on for a while i believe the pigmentation will go away a little bit but super buttery i'm used to wearing like the tingly lip glosses so this is a different feeling for me but I think I like it. We'll have to see. We'll see in a little bit. But so far, not mad. So we'll touch base when I show you my tattoo. And we'll see what this looks like. Because that'll be in like two or three hours. So we'll connect after I get tatted. So I'm back for my tattoo appointment. It's right here. Look at how cute this tattoo place was. Obsessed. And here's like a close-up of my tattoo that I took right after. It was really cute i'm really excited i'll definitely go back to her because i want like a couple more because i just have the two like i want you know i guess you would call it like a sticker sleeve but i don't want to sleep so kind of that vibe just less of them i am home for the day i picked up my groceries i'm kind of cleaning but i know i have a haul for you guys before i end this video so random oh lips look they're still on it felt like a little minty and i don't know if that was in my head or not but not like a burning sensation and it was really nice like 20 minutes after i applied it i started drinking water out of a water bottle no transfer and you can tell like i have picked up groceries i washed my car i got a tattoo and the color is still on so i am very very happy with that purchase and i definitely think it's worth checking out and also from sephora living proof dry shampoo i swear by this it is a little bit ex more expensive than like drugstore but i get the advanced clean so this bottle lasts me so long i end up saving money because it just works so much better than like the drugstore ones i've bought previously then i got some random samples some toner travel toothpaste travel dry shampoo from a different brand called igk got my hair done this week i got it lightened and my hairdresser said that she likes this brand a lot so when i saw the travel version i was like perfect i'll try it when i go to portland and then i got a book to read on the plane chevy stevens is my favorite author her books are so dark so just a heads up but i love them i just feel like i can't put them down when i start so Definitely worth checking out if you're into like dark books, but they can be very, very triggering. So warning before you even look in to getting them. But I, this is like my fourth one I've read by her or I'm going to read by her this year alone. Let me get the clothes and I'll show you. First, we'll start with ASOS. I need to be chill on buying clothes because I am on a weight loss journey. But I feel like I was like in between sizes and now I'm for sure the lower size of the two that i was in between so i think i'm going to be safe in this size for a little bit of the summer and so i got this dress i'm gonna wear this in portland i tried it on and it looks so much cuter on than it does right now and it has like i thought it was gonna be cotton and it's not which i enjoy i don't think it's cotton not like t-shirt cotton at least but it has i don't know you'll see it in pictures but it's gonna be cold in portland so i thought this would be like a vibe with like the green metallic purse and then a black leather jacket and a claw clip and then like my black amazon sunny so i'm really excited to wear this and then i got like a pajama set from asos they have these sets for 20 bucks and this one it's like a little kitty but also so cute just because like i live alone and i like to wear matching sets and like i don't got anyone over to judge me for wearing puppies on a purple pajama set you know what i'm saying so I, it comes with the shirt and then it also comes with the matching bottoms and for 20 bucks like i have a couple of them and they're so comfy and worth it you can't beat it and then for easter my mom i have a romper and again i'm in between sizes so i got a romper from princess polly like a month ago and i wear it all the time it's so cute it's really popular they have it in all sizes and i love it and i got i'll show you that but first i got this like little head band scarf thing i like this head scarf because you don't have to do the tying and that's a lot of pressure and then i just got the classic romper it is the love galore romper and i got it in a light blue because like i said i got the red one in the size up and it's a little big it's still really cute but i got this my mom got this for me for easter in the size below so i figured 
this would be a really cute vibe in the summer and then that way when the red one doesn't fit me this one will already fit me but it's good to know I won't have to like give up that romper because I'm prepared and have it in a different size and a different color and that is it for this video so I'm going to probably edit this right now and just chill, cook some dinner, hang out with my kitties. It's about four o'clock. That is it for this video. Stay tuned because we got a Portland vlog coming soon and I will see you. See you then. Good.